In the NFL, a play can be decided on in the trenches. A game can be won or lost. Playing on the defensive line is not for the weak of mind or body. There is no glamour in the trenches. But there is a finer element to Muhammad Wilkerson's game. A certain level of skill that's only achieved by the elite. My journey is powerful, driven, versatile. The strong survive the trenches. The unrelenting dominate. Muhammad Wilkerson, defensive end, 96. New York Jets, and this is my journey. Born and raised in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Now I live in Linden, Union County guy, Jersey guy. We're here areas where I went to high school at, you know, Linden High School. Football field is over here. Being on this field, uh, a lot of memories. My junior year, picked up a fumble and I got caught at the one. And then uh, my senior year, picked up a fumble, and I remembered that I got caught, so I told myself, you know, I wasn't gonna get caught. You know, I'm just turning around, I'm looking back, looking for defenders, and, you know, run, running in, like, you know, squiggly lines, you know, just to make sure I got the touchdown. Muhammad Wilkerson's football journey started on this field in high school, but he gained the inner strength needed for a career in the trenches at a much earlier age. At 10 years old, Wilkerson learned that his mother, Janice, had been diagnosed with breast cancer. First thing I thought was, you know, I was gonna lose my mom. I was gonna grow up and not have my mom. Thankful that she, she's a religious person and having, you know, faith in God that uh, she's still here. You know, that's a strong woman. I learned a lot from her and still am. My mom and my grandmother being survivors of breast cancer. A lot of families, they lose loved ones due to breast cancer or any type of cancer. Just knowing that they're still here, that's where I get my strength from. That's what makes me get out there and, you know, go crazy, I guess. Get into a different mode and just uh, make sure I get uh, in the trenches and, and do my job. I remember in college, I coached access to write down goals. And my first goal was I wanted to be a first or second round draft pick. It came true, and I wish I could still had that paper so I could show everybody every time I, you know, mention it. Draft day. It's crazy because it's getting late, and you know, I was about to tell you, told the guys to turn off the cameras. You know, I'm not gonna get drafted. You know, just get ready for tomorrow. And then um, I got a call. I uh, seen it was a local number, and I picked up, and it was Rex and Mike Tannenbaum. Smith Wilkerson, defensive tackle. Being a local guy and have my family there, they, you know, attend all the home games. I can go home, get a home cooked meal for my mom, still have her come, you know, over at my house and, you know, take care of some chores for me or something like that, you know. I'm a mama's boy, so, you know, she makes sure she takes care of me. I'm pretty sure just from my mom, just having your own child, have a dream come true like that, it was a great feeling. What are you? Now in his fifth season, Muhammad Wilkerson has established himself as the Jets' most versatile defensive weapon. A run stopper, a pass rusher, a lineman with no limits. I think myself as a D lineman, being versatile is a positive thing, is a good thing in my favor. Being able to, to line up anywhere in the defensive line, any type of scheme, you know, I can line up anywhere. 4-3 or 3-4. I consider myself, uh, you know, one of the best. As long as I continue to play the way I am right now, that's all I can do. Take my game to another level, keep having dominant performances every week. An electric atmosphere under the lights here at MetLife Stadium. Being in the primetime game, lights is on, you know, big stage, everybody's watching. I got to make sure I put on one of my best performances. The Jets track him down and drop him. It was Muhammad Wilkerson. I say it's all about angles, making sure you take the proper angle so he doesn't make any moves on you, try to, you know, make you look bad. Can the Jets get a stop? It's third down, we gotta get off the field. Got my teammates on the sideline, you know, telling me I need to make a play. But I adds a little fuel to my fire. I like being in, you know, crutch time moments like that. Hand off Williams, hit behind the line and drop for a loss. Muhammad Wilkerson. In the trenches, you know, it's a lot of dirty work, a lot of hard work. That's what I like to do. I just know I gotta use my hands and make sure, you know, I fight off blocks and make plays. He will be sacked inside the 15. He had good pressure coming from Muhammad Wilkerson. Despite similar performances week to week, Muhammad Wilkerson has yet to be selected to a Pro Bowl. 
Kind of actually over the little Pro Bowl stuff, I felt like I should have, you know, been made it. It is what it is, but uh, I'm more concerned now about, you know, just getting that, you know, that Super Bowl. Football to me is something that I love, you know. I, I love the game of football, you know, I have the passion for it. Like, if I can play football, I know, I know it sounds crazy, but if I can play like every day, uh, you know, uh, I, I would. That's what I love to do. I wish it could be, you know, all year round. The quote I, I, you know, I use is the key to success is consistency. That's just watching film every day, you know, taking care of your body. You know, it all comes down to one Sunday comes, you know, laying all that on the line and getting ready for another weekend for a new opponent.